Hey Easy Technology fans, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about why Windows 11 is a lot better than Windows 10's operating system. So first off, starting off with the settings menu. If you go to the start menu and choose settings, it's probably fair to say that most people don't buy an operating system to tinker with it under the hood. But if you do not need to dive into the settings menu for a tweak, the design of new Windows 11 settings menu certainly makes it easy to find what you need. Make the change and simply get out and move on with your device. The next thing that makes Windows 11 much better than Windows 10 is the Action Center. Right over here, as you can see, I've come around on the Action Center, the small collection of controls that lives in the bottom right hand corner of your primary display. I still don't like how the non-intuitively the action center trigger is within Windows 11. In Windows 10, all of the corner icons are essentially one collective button that you can click to open the action center. In Windows 11, you have to know that an icon like OneDrive is one button, the clock date another, and the action center is itself opened by clicking the volume control or battery icon. So as you can see, it's pretty organized here. You do have focus mode, you do have the calendar over here, and you do have all the notifications for the action center right over here. The next feature I'd like to talk about is snap view. So for example, if you have the internet browser open and you want to multitask, you can simply highlight this minimize menu and see snap view. So as you can see, snap view you can multitask, you can have multiple tabs and pages open within the screen split and you can see them side by side to compare and contrast anything that you would like. So this has been a small but important improvement to Windows 11. Since the beginning, especially important as more and more people move to multiple large external monitors in addition to their primary display, the improved snap view allows you to snap your window by hovering over the traditional full screen icon in the upper right hand corner of the window, then choosing which of a small number of templates you would like the window to fit into. The remainder of your display can be used to house the other windows. So as you can see, you can go under any page under the minimize or maximize tab, just highlight over it, and you can select which snap view to choose however you want it to format and display. And the next feature I would like to talk about is the new Windows Media Player. So if you go to the Start menu, type in Media Player. So as you can see, this is the new Windows Media Player. I'm not convinced that many of the updated Windows 11 native apps represent improvements just visual updates and or reorganizes Windows Media Player. It's, it's more than that. A genuine step forward, at least for this specific app with Groove's music's retirement, Media Player has stepped in to play back audio and video, and there's even a long-awaited equalizer to boot. The new Media Player is not part of Windows 11. All right, the next feature I would like to talk about as to why Windows 11 is much better than Windows 10 is that you can have and download Android apps on your operating system. So if you simply go to the Start menu and go to Microsoft Store, and you can simply search for Amazon App Store. As you can see, this is another cool feature and app that Windows 11 has added to their operating system over Windows 10, the Amazon App Store. So on the Amazon App Store, you can basically download Android apps, which are a bit like the Linux apps that Microsoft enables as part of the Windows subsystem for Linux. They have specialized purposes which might be attractive to those who don't want to hunt down a web page or an app, but the potential is there to improve this if Microsoft and its partners choose to. How that's managed and what specialized advantages that might offer, however, have yet to be seen. And last but not least, I want to mention the Start menu and all the icons on the Start taskbar. 
So as you can see, the icons on the taskbar are much more organized. It shows the weather and temperature on the left-hand side. You have all your apps and icons organized in the middle, and you have the date and time, as well as all the important notifications on the right-hand side. So great job to Microsoft Windows 11. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.